Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this home page using Figma. And this is our progress as of now. We have designed the header and this section right here. Now in this video, we will design this section over here and also this post section. So let's get started. So here the first thing we will do is we will add the background color. So for that, let's create a rectangle and uh, let's make it the length of our frame and let's increase the height a little bit and now let's change the color of this rectangle so let's go to fill and let's click on this color picker and uh, let's choose this color right here so now we can see we have the correct background color now in this section we need to have this icon and we have this heading and this text right here so first of all let's create this text so let's go back to figma and uh, let's click on text and uh, let's tap 23000 plus and let's increase the font size so let's go over here to design and we'll keep the font as enter and we'll change the font weight to black and let's change the font size to 40 Right now let's bring this down a little bit and uh, let's also add the text called students so i'll just duplicate this down here we can just press option or alt and drag it down here and uh, let's type students and for this text let's change the font to allegria and we'll change the font weight to bold and uh, let's change the font size to 30 and let's center align this so let's bring it and drag it over here and here we can see we have this indication that it is in the center and I think that looks alright. Now let's add the icon. So let's just move this down a little bit. Now for the icon, we're going to use a plugin called Iconify. So let's right click over here and uh, let's go to plugins and you can click on find more plugins or if you already have the plugin installed, you can just go over here to install plugins and click on Iconify. And here let's add the search term. So I'll just type student and we have a lot of icons over here. Let's choose one of these. Let's select this one right here and let's click on import icon and here we can see that the icon has been imported to our design let's drag it over here into our section and uh, let's just bring it up so you can just press command and right curly braces and you can go up so just bring it above everything All right let's see what is the height and width of this icon let's change this to 100 pixels All right now let's bring this to the center so let's drag it and bring it over here and i think that looks all right all right now let's select all of this and let's add an auto layout so let's press shift a and let's decrease the padding a little bit now let's select this and uh, let's rename this to students and now let's duplicate this so let's press command d and uh, drag it over here and uh, for this we need to change the details so here we can see we have 26 hours and video content so let's change that let's type 26 hours and the video content right now we need to change this icon so let's go back to the plugin iconify let's right click over here and go to plugins and iconify let's search for video and uh, let's go to the next page and we will use this icon right here so let's click on this icon and let's click on import icon and the icon has been imported over here let's drag it over here and uh, we need to bring it to the top so you can just drag this and bring it to the top All right let's also set the width and the height to 100 so let's type 100 All right now let's replace this icon with this icon right here so let's drag it and bring it to the top and let's just delete this All right that's it with both these icons so let's select both of these and let's see whether they are aligned properly so let's click on this icon right here called align vertical centers and let's also bring it to the center so let's drag it and bring it over here All right now we also need to have this element right here so let's just copy this uh, from here let's press command c and uh, let's press command v over here and i'll just drag it over here to the top and we'll just rotate this so i just press shift and uh, rotate it and we will have a gap of 80 pixels from the top so let's bring it up 
and let's also bring this to the left and uh, we'll also bring these two elements to the top a little bit and we also need to change the color of this so let's select this and uh, let's click on this fill and let's choose the red color right now let's decrease the height of this rectangle and we will have a gap of 80 pixels from the bottom so let's just decrease the height right now we have a padding of 80 pixels right now let's design the next section which is uh, this post section so let's create a rectangle before that let's group this so let's select all of these and let's press command G and I'll just change the name to info right now let's create a rectangle and let's increase the width and also the height and let's change the background color so for this we will change the color to this color right here so let's select fill and let's select the color picker and let's choose this color right here right now the first thing we need to have over here is the heading so here we have this heading latest posts so let's go to assets and we have the heading component over here let's drag this and bring it over here and from the left we need to have a gap of 128 pixels and from the top we need to have a gap of 80 pixels right now let's change the heading to latest posts and let's increase the heading width now for this heading we have a different color for this underline and we have created a variant for that so let's choose desktop light from here and now we have the correct heading now let's add the blog post so for that we have created this component called blog post card so let's just drag this over here and I'll just drag this and bring it over here and from the top we will have a gap of 40 pixels now we need to create two more posts so let's just duplicate this and we'll duplicate it once more and now let's change these details so for the first one we have a heading of how to use drum machine in logic pro x so let's change this heading and for the tag we need to have daw so let's change this to daw and let's change the image so let's double click over here in the image and here you can go to this uh, image and choose your own image from here I'm just going to use an image from Unsplash so let's right click over here and uh, go to plugins and Unsplash and let's search for DAW and let's use this image right here right that's it with the first card now let's go to the second card and for this we have a heading of how to mix guitars effectively so let's add that over here and here we can see for the first card we have two lines of text so we have a larger height so for the second one let's add an empty line and uh, let's change the tag to mixing so let's type mixing over here and let's change the image so let's double click on this image and uh, let's right click over here and uh, go to plugins unsplash and let's search for guitar and let's choose an image from here let's choose this image right here right that's it with the second card now let's go to the third card and for that we have a title of the real power of harmonies in music production so let's add that over here and for the tag we have vox and let's change the image so let's right click over here and uh, go to plugins and uh, go to unsplash and let's search for choir and we'll just use this image right here now let's add this button for all posts so for that let's create a text and uh, let's type all posts and let's change the font size to 16 pixels and we'll change the color to black so let's select black from here and now let's add an auto layout so let's press shift a and uh, let's add a background color so let's click on fill let's decrease the padding from the top and the bottom so here we can just decrease the padding this here is the horizontal padding so let's increase that a little bit and let's change the vertical padding let's bring it down let's change it to 4 and let's also add a border radius let's type 10 over here right now let's bring this to the right and uh, we will have a gap of 30 pixels 
Right now, let's decrease the height of this rectangle. And we need to have a padding of 80 pixels. Right now, it is 229. So let's decrease the height. So now we have a padding of 80 pixels. Right, that's basically it with the post section. So let's select all of these. And let's make it a group. And let's just name this blog. And with that, we have completed the blog section. So this is how our website looks right now. All right, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will continue designing the rest of the sections. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.